Okay, let me just um, resize this real quick. So all of these questions have to do with simplifying logs or solving logarithmic equations. And to do that, we're going to revisit for each example this particular conversion. So if I have something that's written in a log, like y equals log base a of x, I can convert that. And it often times helps to convert it because then you can see exactly what they're looking for. Logs are hard to think in, but we're used to thinking in exponential uh, equations. So if I convert this, it's going to look something like this. The x is going to come to its own side of the equation. The base of the log stays the base of the exponent. And this thing out in front is going to go up into the exponent. So when I write things in this form, it's oftentimes easier to understand what's being asked. Like everyone probably is comfortable with something like this. If I said 25 equals 5 squared, well, that's in exponential form. I can convert this to log form and get 2 whoops, equals log base 5 of 25. So when you see the law, this is saying this to what power gives me that. So basically what we're saying here is 6, don't mind the fire alarm in the background, the fire department, if you can hear it, the siren. 6 to what power, you can put a question mark, you can put an x, whatever, equals the square root of 279936. That's what we're looking for. You can plug this log into the calculator by either using the log base button. If you have math and hit up, some people might have the log base button. You can do that and just plug in each number individually. 6 and the square root of uh, 279936 and you get 3.5, or you can use the change of base formula and say the log of the top. Close parentheses divided by the log of the bottom, log of six, and you get the same thing. Okay, now this guy here is basically saying well, let's look at this first. Log base 3 of 14. Forget the 3 in the bottom. Log base 3 of 14. This is saying 3 to what power equals 14? Okay, 3 to what power equals 14? It doesn't really matter what we get here. Let's just say the answer is... 2.6. Let's just say question mark equals 2.6. So then we would say, okay, right, hey, 3 to the power of 2.6 equals 14. 3 to the power of 2.6 equals 14. Now raise 3 to the power. This thing just gave me 2.6. 3 to the power of 2.6. Well, we just said that gives me 14. So that's why we're getting an answer of 14. Okay, this is basically saying th raise 3 to the power that when I raise 3 to it, I get 14. Raise 3 to the power that when I raise 3 to it, I get 14. So you get 14. Uh, let's think of a different way you could look at this. Um, well, let's do it this way. We'll just do it again, but with the actual number. Let's look at the exponent first. Log base 3 of 14. I can figure out what that is in my calculator by using the log base button. Math up log base. It's log base 3 of 14. It'll be 2 point something. 2.4. Okay. Now, that's this exponent here. Just do 3 to the power caret. Um, whoops. Go back and get that and raise it to the power. You get 14 works the same way. All right, for these guys, we're going to do use that conversion formula again. Let me rewrite it. 
if I have y equals log base a of x, that can be written as x equals a to the power of y. So before I can convert, I want to get the log by itself. I need there to be nothing in front of the log. So I'm going to get rid of this 9 fourths by multiplying by the reciprocal. I'll multiply both sides by 4 over 9. So these cross out. I'm left with log base 2 of x equals 16 over 9, which is 4 times 4 ninths. Okay, you can figure out what that is. If it's an ugly decimal, then we'll just leave it the way it is. Yep, we'll leave it the way it is. It's ugly. So now I can convert. I am here. My A is 2, X is X, Y is 16 over 9. So when I convert, the X comes to its own side. I'm left with 2 raised to the power of 16 over 9. So now I can figure out what x is just by doing 2 to the power of 16 divided by 9. Make sure you're just up in the, in the exponent like that. And we get x equals 3.42, no, we'll do 3.429. Okay, that's it. And the last one, using the formula again, it's already, the log is already isolated, so I can convert. So I'm going to get x to the seventh, comes out to its own side, equals 2 to the power of negative 4. So I get x to the seventh equals we'll do 2 to the power of negative 4, Point zero six two five. To get x by itself, since it's x to the 7th, I'm going to take the 7th root. So to do the 7th root, you can either do math and take number 5, Oop. I guess we have to do the seven first. Seven math like that. Point zero six two five, and we get that. Or you can do point parentheses point zero six two five, and raise it to the power of one seventh. That's how you do roots. And we get point six seven uh, three. Three or three zero if you're rounding to three or four decimal places. And that's it.